welcome back everyone. Okay, so what we're going to do is go over how you can break something apart and group them together. So I chose a very punishing QR code and I'm over an objects process and I'm going to scroll all the way down and you'll see that this has uh, 1200 parts. So this will be similar to a lot of things. We're going to start by splitting this. So that's a simple right click split into objects. Then what we'll do is we'll click out of this. So click anywhere outside of the model. Then we'll click back in and we're actually going to move this outer piece out of the way. Next, what we'll do is we'll actually start to move the corners. Now I actually centered this already. So that was just a right click center. So everything is centered properly and we'll start moving pieces uh, actually by a small group. So I'm going to hold down shift and it's going to grab this section here. And I'm actually going to use the arrow key. So we'll just tap up a few times. We'll do it five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll do the same thing over here. Now, of course, this is punishing my computer right now. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll take care of the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we're going to take care of all of the dots. So we're going to hold down shift. Once I get control of my machine, shift. Select all of these. And from here, we're actually going to right click, assemble. So now all of these are grouped together, but we're going to take it one step further. I haven't gone over this yet, and this will usually, actually, I think it warrants a, a whole topic, but I'll just give you a crash course uh, once you get beyond the normal assembly. All right, so what we're going to do is right click again, and we actually want to go into mesh Boolean. And what this will do is this will actually combine all of those parts that make up that center portion into one piece. Now, depending on your computer, this could take some time because it requires a lot of processing. And typically you shouldn't be throwing in um, um, models with over a thousand parts, but this is an extreme case. Okay, so of course that took a while. And now what it's done is actually combine all of this into a single part right here. So if I click on this, here's our part. And now we can label it. So we've just take, uh, take, we've taken and or took all of those uh, parts and whittled them down to a handful now. And technically we can start reassembling. So if I were to take this now and go down five, one, two, three, four, five, same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, same here. Looks like I grab more than one. I'll do that piece by piece. One, two, three, four, five. Not sure why I grabbed that other one, but no big deal. And we're just using the arrow keys to go back up five. And as far as this part, we can just right click, center, 
And now we can just recombine all of this. So you can either hold shift and select it all. If this is the only build plate you have and there's no other items, we can just hit control A, right click and assemble. So of course you saw how easy that was to essentially uh, take this apart, group things together, assemble it, and then add a mesh boolean to consolidate them down to a handful of parts. Now you could also name individual parts, uh, just like I've shown, but there's only a handful left. All right, so technically we can start painting. So what we'll do is we'll just give it a base color. I will just make that white. If I wanted to paint just a section of this, like those dots, and let's say I want that in black, I can just hit the number two and it's painted all of those all in one go. And of course, if everything was disassembled, I could have painted it, uh, but I actually wanted to show you something with these. So if I were to go to each of these parts, and let's say I decided just to paint one, so that's an outer rim, it's an outer rim, All right, let's slice, see how this looks, and we may need to make some adjustments, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so that completed, and I guess you guys sort of see why I like to paint just the top layer of things, and because this particular uh, 10 millimeter height item would take about 10 hours, you can actually do a few things from here. You could, um, you know, just flatten this out, or you can paint by plane. So if you were to click on this, uh, go to color painting, you would go with the height range and you could just paint like this and it would actually paint just the levels you want or you can just flatten it. I'll actually paint the range. And let's make this a little wider. And we'll slice again. And we've essentially shaved off about eight hours. And again, we probably don't need a 10 millimeter height version of this, so we could just flatten it. But what I will do is I'll actually flip this. That way we don't um, use a whole lot of filament. And since, again, this is an SVG file, all these little sections right here will not print. But let's still shrink it down. So scale, make sure we take off uniform scale. And let's just make this two millimeters in height. Slice again. All right, and we dropped it down a little more. So we've effectively taken that very punishing 1200 plus parted part or project and knocked it down to um, a few. You can actually take it down even further. Um, but now that you get the idea of how to do it, hopefully this will help you if you throw in any SVG files that have hundreds of parts. If it starts running into th over a thousand, your slicer, maybe even your computer will start to lag. Uh, so I would say try to, to limit uh, how many things you're throwing into the slicer, but you can reduce the number of parts. Okay, so I'll print this and I will see you on the other side.
Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.